Hey everybody, thank you for all the questions about the president. I got a lot of them and they're really, really good stuff that I didn't even know. The little bit that I did looking into them, that's why I made that video yesterday. And, uh, but we're gonna get to your questions. I have them all written down. Everything from why he accepted the position, his knowledge of the crimes, did he know the victims, all the way to, we got questions about the house. We have questions about, um, a lot of questions about investigation and relationship with, uh, you know, previous questionable deaths and his relationship with the Moscow Police Department. Like, how does that all work? So we have a lot of questions. First, I just wanted to say that we'll refer to him as H. GIC, head guy in charge. So this head guy in charge actually grew up in the 1122 King Road house. Um, then he went to Boise High School, went back to Moscow to the University of Idaho, where he was a Kappa Sigma member. So frat guy. And get this, he went to, then he went to Harvard to get his MBA. So, you guys ever seen the movie The Skulls? That's what this reminds me of. Like, you know, I mean, once you get into Ivy League, then you add in the fraternity, all the connections, it's weird. So, he was um, considered non-traditional for this job, just like, as you guys can see in the previous stuff, hopefully it works, that I put up. Um, he took a whole lot, his job resume is crazy. Like, worldwide stuff he was non-traditionally appointed to all kinds of stuff this guy is a multi-billionaire so what's he doing taking a four hundred and forty thousand dollar a year job when he could be you know golfing 18 holes every day while his wife is laying by the pool being fed grapes and being fanned you know what i'm saying like what are why did he accept this role why did he take it? Oh, and then then um, that house. Okay, so when he accepted the role, they used to have this like modest house that the president lived in. Well, when he took it in July of 19, they built that friggin' fortress just specially for him. So why did he accept this position? What made him accept this position? Why did he accept this job? Two of Swords. Six of Cups. Ace of Swords. Nine of Swords reversed. Queen of Swords. Lots of swords here, reverse. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups, which is a card about being ignored, overlooking something. Um, this woman's super focused on these three cups and doesn't even realize or care that she's being offered a cup, like the universe is offering her another one. She's too focused on this cup being empty over here. So it's a card of like indifference kind of not really caring too much okay why do you accept this job well right in the middle ace of swords this is uh it was great he thought it, it was proposition like it was a great idea the ace of swords is about truth it's about clarity so possibly like clearing things up i don't know someone had an idea to clear things up now Two of Swords is a decision. You're at, he's at a crossroads here. Had to make a decision. It's interesting that she's looking up with a blindfold up to the moon. The moon represents secrets and illusions. Next to the Six of Cups, which is memories, nostalgia, childhood. His childhood could be people that you've known from childhood. But we're talking about he was at a crossroads here. This decision, this is about a decision, the two of swords. So why did he take the job? Well, he almost felt pressured into it for some reason. Pressured into this job 
from something that had to do with the past, bringing truth to a situation or clear, clearing up a situation. Then we have the Nine of Swords reversed, which is this is something was on his, his mind so heavy that he couldn't think about anything else. This was eating him up. He couldn't sleep at night because of whatever was on his mind. Depression, anxiety, something was weighing heavily on his mind. He thought that this would be a way for some peace to kind of ease, ease his mind. Was it his mind though? Because the next one we get is the Queen of Swords, which is female energy. She is very intellectual. She uses her words. She's an ice queen. She's quick to cut people out here. Um, she came out in reverse, which means that uh, that she is lying. Swords down could mean that she's lying. Um, Queen of Swords reversed. It also means, uh, like I said, like quick to cut something out. She's um, can use her words. She can be very cruel. Okay, so she's it's female energy, like lying to him, being cruel. Now, is that what is keeping him up at night, this female energy? Or is it something that a female told him? But whatever, it seems like he wants to clear up some confusion or lies told by some female. So that's weird here. It's like he was kind of propositioned something from the past. All right, I'm gonna to try to get a little bit more here. Let's see. let's see. I freaking love this deck just because uh, this one right here. This thing shuffles so easy. It, the cards never get bent. It never gets great. I mean, these this is like the great. I wish all of the card decks came in just like this kind of quality. It's awesome. All right, so. Let's ask, let's get some clarity here. So we'll just ask the same question and see if we can get some, see if they can help us clarify this first spread. So why did he take, why did he take the position as president? What made him accept this position here? Now, Felt like he was pushed into it. There's something from the past. He wants to clarify here. It's his chance for truth. His chance to run things the way he wants them ran. But what is up specifically with this female in the Nine of Swords reverse? Why he took the role? Please explain these cards to us. Queen of Swords, Nine of Swords reverse. Six of Swords. So we felt like, okay, hang on. The World, okay. Four of Swords. Reverse. Three of Wands, reverse. Back to the Two of Swords again. This time reversed. And underneath, we have the Page of Cups. So... To get some clarity here on this thing that's weighing on his mind. Well, it's something that he can't get. I mean, it's weighing on his mind. This is another one that kind of um, confirms it. This is about taking a break, a well-deserved break. Here, he's not able to rest. Just like that nine of swords. Something's on his mind here. Unable to rest. He's stuck in with the six of swords moving from chaos to calm waters. Choppy waters to calm waters. With his, fan, with his wife, his family. There's something here where he feels stuck in chaos. Stuck in this chaos, which goes back to that nine of, the nine of swords, you know? Something that he, that's keeping him up at night. He feels stuck. And with the world here, it's like, that, that's an ending. It's, you know, he wants to put an ending to this chaos for once and for all. Now, three of wands is about waiting for something. 
you've made plans with the ace of wands you thought of an idea with the two of wands you made plans for you made, you thought of an idea of action with the ace two of wands you made plans for that action three of wands you're waiting to take the next step waiting for something came out in reverse meaning whatever he's waiting for was never going to come so for some reason here he's back with the two of swords reversed he was pressured like almost an ultimatum or he felt pressured to accept that position it was the only way he was gonna put an end to this chaos so one more question back to this nine of swords reverse this thing that's keeping him up at night and this chaos um I do with that baby right here and oh yeah this card what's the one next to it yes okay this card makes me think that in a way he was kind of either he was playfully tricked into it or maybe he told his family and his wife something like this will be fun you know like tried to make it seem playful but with the ace of wands reversed it it was the opposite of he was there to win to cause a lot of confusion. He had a lot of options, but he was there. He was going to cause confusion. There's something that's keeping him up. Yes, because he's always going to be the emperor, okay? Whether he's our emperor that shows up a lot or not, no matter what, he'll be the he'll be an emperor. He's a leader. He's also a father. Shot caller. Coming out in reverse. So it's an abuse of power is what that means all right so what is going on he took this job because something some something was just out of line and he wanted it to end he had to go back for that to happen what was what was this the situation look the card that flipped five of swords it was a conflict here he was pressured into this for some reason pressured into it this is the bullying card being bullied being pushed into a situation what was what was the situation that he couldn't what was the situation that he was trying to fix by taking this role one card flipped which is the nine of pentacles this is being able to, uh, financially independent so like finances somehow he was pushed into this by fixing something financially so that they were able to stand on their own. Were they in financial trouble this school? Um, what was the chaos here? What was this, the bad dreams, the nightmare that he wanted to end? Please show us the nightmare that the president wanted to end when he took this position. What was this? This nightmare, these lies, like what did he, what did he need to fix? What did he need to fix that he could only be done if he took this role? What did he need to fix that could only be done if he took this position? Seven of Swords reversed. Our Swindler card. Your friend that smiles in your face, stabs you in the back. Criminal behavior reversed, which means somebody getting caught here with their pants on the ground. Situation King of Wands. What a coincidence. So there's this male energy here. He was a leader. He was a leader. And then here is the Emperor. Oh my gosh, stuck. Losing control. What's the next card? The sun, and everybody knew it. Everybody knew this guy was losing control. Because, check this out, seven of pentacles, time and effort put into something. Now it's time to reap what you sow. Was it worth all the work and trouble? Looking at money here, looking at uh, looking at profits, profits. So looks like here, 
Somebody might have been stealing from the school, this male energy. I wonder who was there before him. Somebody new had to come and take charge. Take that fatherly role. Take it seriously. Make some rules. But whoever was there previously was stuck in a situation. It could have even been in jail, imprisoned. Like they were stuck in this situation with the Eight of Swords that they got themselves into. And it was a total loss of control with the Four of Pentacles. They were losing money. They were losing control. They were losing authority. So it was somebody could have been stealing from the school here. Something like that. And then he needed to make... Basically, the, he was trying to... Exp he had to take the job because he felt pressured into it to expose some guy, some male energy here that was stealing from them, I'd say. Stealing from them, doing something illegal to them. Which was causing them to lose a whole lot of money and causing them to be stagnant in this situation. So it'd be interesting to look at who was president before him and like how it was all you know with their finances follow the money right what their finances look like back then 2019 july so the year like you know 2018 and 2019 because by the time he was hired it was already the end so he just started in 2020 so shit he was only there a couple years before all this went down all right next question you guys had is why does he want the house demolished i mean he grew up there right why the heck does he want that house demolished why does he want this house demolished i mean you know i i would imagine you're you know he's in the car look telling his grandkids if he's got them you know like look kids this is where i grew up why does he want this house demolished this is an opportunity for him to win a whole lot of brownie points and turn it into a memorial or something a place you know that's a prime location for like a place for like an outdoor study thing you know a bonfire thing with stuff it just would be there's a lot they could do there um all right why did he want that house demolished? Why does he want the house demolished? Why does he want this house demolished? The chariot, nine of pentacles. Again, another nine of pentacles. Knight of swords reversed. King of Swords reversed the Magician. The bottom of the deck here, we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. All right, why does he want the house demolished? Well, in the middle, we have the Knight of Swords reversed. This is fast energy, coming in quick, coming in hot. It's in reverse, so he's coming in recklessly. It is a reckless move. Um... A lot of, it could also be like negative talk, a lot of negative talk about it, negative thoughts about that house, negative talk, negative thoughts. Now on this side, we have the chariot, which is full speed ahead. The chariot is taming, he's able to tame these two opposites and join the race, join this chariot race and, you know, motion, travels, full speed ahead. Uh, working successfully working with uh, things that are opposite next to this nine of Pentacles which is about being totally financially independent so this rush of independence a rush of running towards independence why does he want this house demolished now on the other side here, we have our killer card. So, King of Swords. Hey guys, this deck, it's crazy. All the kings look like Jesus. Even look at, uh, 
Even look at the magician. He looks like Jesus. It's like Jesus as the king of swords. Jesus starring as the king of wands. Jesus starring as the magician. It's just strange. But anyhow, king of swords. So this guy came out in reverse. Um, if he's not the killer, which is the killer card um, that we get in this case anyhow. Uh, this is a legal type guy. Think judge, teacher, like good with his words. Intellectual guy. Very good with his words. He makes, he's rational. He makes decisions with logic instead of feelings. Now, he came out in reverse. So, he is, could mean he's lying. It could mean that he is not being very logical. It could mean that, I mean, yeah, that he's lying, that he's irrational, illogical, and angry. Then we have the magician, who, this is a, a character that, he's the, okay, first card in the deck, but not really because the fool is the zero, but the magician is somebody who has all the tools of anything they need to create anything they want. That's what the magician is about. Magician, think manifestation. Sometimes he uses a little bit of trickery, but when he's in the upright, it's all for the good, and he is making something happen using see he's got a sword cup pentacles wands and he's going to manifest it and make it happen now are they meaning like in my mind i'm thinking he's going to do whatever it takes to get this house torn down whether it's he's going to make it happen this makes me wonder so it's like, you know, it, it's fast, it's irrational, it's against what people want, which is Knight of Swords. So I think he's going to do it, guys. I think that this house, there's a good chance that it's still, I mean, it, there, I, in my mind, in my opinion, there's a good chance that this house will be demolished before the end of the trial, maybe even the end of the beginning of the trial. Now, at the bottom of the deck here, this Ten of Pentacles reversed, this is everything and check out the picture there school it's like a campus a gate and the ten of pentacles is yeah it's everything valuable but it's also uh we get this a lot with our fraternity school card because it usually it has a banner but it's about um passing something down passing it down generation to generation um your legacy inheritance being a part of a big of a family, things like that. So it seems like he wants that out. He doesn't want to pass that on to his kids. There's a reason that he wants this house gone. And then we have our victims next to that, the victims and a deal broken. He made a deal and he's going to break the deal. Wow. Okay. Mm hmm. Why the, explain please, the, why are you giving us the chariot? Then we have the king of wands reverse. So somebody that's lost their temper here. Male energy, lost their temper. All right, nine of pentacles. Why the nine of pentacles? Thank you. Judgment, judgment call, decision made. Out of anger, out of spite here, not thinking it all the way through. Knight of Swords reverse. Why does he want it demolished? Whoa. Okay. Well, with the eight, he wants it demolished because something ain't working. This is the work card, doing the same thing over and over and over again. Came out in reverse, so it's doing something out of the ordinary or something's not working. Why does he want it demolished? Because he wants to walk away. He wants to leave that house in the past. In, in the, he wants it to be dust and rubble. He doesn't want to look at that house again. That's why it comes out in the reverse. This is walking away from everything you care about, new path. He's stuck here. He's got, he's stuck in a situation that he shouldn't be, he doesn't want to be in, which is looking at that house every day. Page of Wands reverse. That's lighting that match. And, you know, the match could grow into anything. Action. 
page in wands, or I mean wands, action, in reverse. So it's putting that, putting out that little, putting out that flame. That's what he wants there. Doing something out of the ordinary, so demolishing the house. He wants away from the ties that bind him to it. He doesn't want this to grow into anything else. Why the King of Swords, though, in reverse? This King of Swords. I mean, is this the killer? Is this just some big lie? Why are we getting the King of Swords in reverse? Eight something flipped here. Queen of Wands reversed. Ooh. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? No. Okay. Well, let's check this out. We got a couple. There's a couple here, both in reverse. The Wands family. So, these two normally are sexual. They are the life of the party. They're the couple everybody wants to invite to come to their party. They are fun. They're fiery. They're funny. They're charismatic. They're always doing something. Always doing something Everything they touch grows. Every business they touch is successful. These two are, they're fire signs. They are just attractive, okay? Also sexual. Now, they both came out in reverse, which is a loss of temper here. There's a loss of control, loss of temper. This is also like, they're angry. So we have this male and female together here that are angry. And this has to do, we're asking about our King of Swords. So either corruption by lawyers, law enforcement, judge, stuff like that. Like people that make the rules. Either a male lying. And then what did we get here? Eight of Wands reversed. So stuck in a mental imprisonment. Feeling stuck, bound to this house. He wants to free himself from the connection of that house and possibly and this is going off the wall but another way to read this would be um a hookup maybe there's hookups that happened at that house um why is the king of swords reversed here oh my god did you guys see that shit why is the King of Swords reversed here? We got the friggin' King of Swords reversed again, our killer card. Why is he reversed here? Why is the King of Swords reversed? Not defending oneself. Why is the King of Swords reversed? Why? Hermit, which is home, being at home looking into yourself, really digging down deep, and then the Nine of Pentacles again. This card right here, this single female energy that's got it all. Something's being overlooked. They want to calm down the chaos around that house. And sorrow and grief. It brings people sorrow and grief. Wow, I cannot believe we got him out both times. Why did we get him? Failure to defend. He feels like uh, he, they're unable to defend this house. Unable to. Can't do it. There's something about this single female, and that was the judgment. That was the decision that's made. Sadness and sorrow. I got a good, I got a better question that'll answer it. And it is another question you guys asked. What is so valuable? And that there's a reason that they want it demolished, right? We kind of got a little bit into it, but let's get more into it. Let's ask, um, what evidence is there in that house? Still, right now. There's a reason they want that house demolished. And I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but the judge, the last time I heard him talk about this house, he said, um, hey, don't worry, we're going to keep this house um, up until at least the end of the semester, which would put us 
the end of December, beginning of January, right about now. That's what he said. So, and like, no one ever has brought this up, but I'm like thinking to myself, and then right after he said that, the FBI went in and took those digital maps. So it makes me worry, are they really gonna tear down this house? So, okay, what is so valuable? What, what kind of evidence is there still in this house? related to the murders. What evidence is in this house still related to the, not this house, <laughs> you know what I mean. What evidence is in 1122 that relates to the murders? Please show us clearly the evidence in that house that relates to the murders. What evidence is still in that house that relates to the murders? Five of Swords, Page of Swords, Strength, Page of Swords reversed, Strength, Nine of Swords reversed, Seven of Cups, Bottom of the Deck, our King of Wands again reversed, the same bro, this guy, this guy, same guy. This time, it's our Jesus of Wands. So, still reverse. So, that's weird. What evidence is still in that house? Oh, my gosh. So, remember, that could, this is aggression. King of Wands reverse. Aggression from a male. Um, could also be sexual from a male. Now... There's something here, this conflict, this bullying situation. It's a bullying thing. Like this guy got in a fight. Not only did he win, but he stole everybody's weapons. And now he's sitting around smug and proud of himself. It's bullying. It's overpowering. It's unfair. It's an unfair fight there. Page of Swords reversed is a spy because the Page of Swords upright is gathering information gathering knowledge, listening to the birds, listening to the gossip, looking around, gathering information. Now, in reverse, he's doing it in an irresponsible way. So it's the, my spy card. So there's some conflict going on here, an unfair fight, and there is information about that fight in the house. Then we have the strength card, which is it's about power, it's about strength, but it's about a quiet type strength. So I'm just gonna look at it like right in the middle there that there's, there's something very strong. There's a very strong reason that they want, there's a major reason that they want that house down. There's something in it that'll blow the lid off this sucker. Yes, because the Nine of Swords, this thing that keeps you up at night worrying, worrying about this thing. Now they want to put an end to the worries, to the nightmares. Then we get the Seven of Cups. This is options, having a lot of options, but also confusion and propaganda, guys. This is like a line of bullshit, public relations, that type of thing. Like confusing somebody on purpose. So, okay, we're going to relieve everybody's we're going to relieve every, that's what it is. We're going to relieve everybody. Everyone's worried that this house will get torn down. We're going to relieve, or they're worried that some, whatever's in it will come to fruition. We're going to relieve everybody's stress by feeding you guys all a line of bullshit that'll make them both happy. Whoever is scared that whoever wants that house torn down will, it's still out there. It's still a possibility. Whoever, all the people that are fighting for that house, like us, to stay up till the for the till the end of the trial, they're gonna relieve us too. Bye. Isn't it crazy that like like that thing I just told you? How the judge was like, "Don't worry, we're gonna keep that house up at least till the end of the semester." Like what? That's a form of gaslighting. Seven of Cups. They've got all kinds of options though of what to do with that house. But I want to know. 
the exact evidence. So there's evidence of some type of a unfair, an unfair fight. All right. You know I'm going to dig. I'm going to dig. I'm going to dig. Please show us. Like, it's funny that Tarot gives us, like, little riddles and stories to figure out. Mm -hmm. What is in that house? What evidence in that house is the prosecution worried that we'll see? No. What, what evidence is in that home? Yeah, we'll just, what evidence is in that home that will, could affect the outcome of this trial, of the murder trial? What evidence is in that house of 1122 that will affect the outcome, that could affect the outcome of the trial? What is the evidence that's sitting in that house that could affect the outcome of this trial? Wheel of Fortune, Three of Wands, Four of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Well, it's full of secrets here. That if they went in, the secrets would come out. Things would be getting clearer. Things would be clear. And then look what's at the bottom. Same card. The bullshit. See? Your head, this guy's head's in the clouds. Feeding a line of crap here. PR bullshit. What's in the house? Well, here with the Wheel of Fortune, it's a it's a ending, but it's more like a turning. It's like think of a um, you know when you go up a roller coaster and it's like click 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 when you're going up up the incline. This is like click 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 click. So upright, you're click click clicking through different chapters of your life. So things are going good here. Forward progression. In that house. And then there's books here. Books. Things written down. Words written. Three of Wands. Waiting for something that isn't going to happen. Not being able to take that next step. What's still in the house? Okay. The evidence definitely has to do with the positioning of the bodies. Something with the positioning with the four swords. These people. This guy laying here with the swords all around him. The positioning of the bodies here. Something with like where the bodies were found. The, or the something with the bodies in that house. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Which is this very slow moving horse. Um, reliable. Protective. Covered in armor. Holding something valuable. Protecting something valuable. Well... Unfortunately, the high priestess knows everything but doesn't say a word. Now, when she's in reverse, secrets are starting to come out here. So, it's not, you know, we're not going to get all the like, tarot. We can't get, unfortunately, can't get all the answers. But you do get more hints the more times you try. Say if we try it again in a month, we'll get more. But for right now... I would say that there is definitely something, some type of evidence that has to do with their bodies, the position of their bodies, the location of their bodies, um, not being protected, or I'm sorry, they're protecting it, but the secrets are coming out. They've, so far, they've been able to pr protect whatever this is. Could it be like words that are written? Did somebody write something? Like in a wall, on a floor, something like that. That's what I'm like seeing in my head. Especially with the sword up like that. There's some truth. There's some truth that never came out here with the three of wands in reverse. That's still in that house, related to the bodies. Someone's trying to protect the secrets by having that house torn down. That The evidence, remember, is in the house. They don't want that jury in the house. It has to do with the bodies possibly something written all right so where are we here with the house um we asked about okay let's ask a, a question from you guys 
what makes this house so valuable to our HGIC? Why is this home so valuable to him? He could have bought this house a gazillion times, but it was gifted to him, and then he wants it demolished. What is, what about this home makes, what is so valuable? What is the value of this house? What is valuable about the house to the president? What about the house does the president value? Protection, witness, memories. Okay. Chariot in reverse. All right. What's the next one? Nine of Swords that relieve, being relieved of a nightmare. So it's almost like he feels stuck. He's protecting. What's value about the house? The house is protecting with the Queen of Cups here. Maybe this is his memories that he has of his mother. But it's, or it's a witness. Somebody, a female energy that witnessed something, saw something. The witness card. Protect, protection of that. That's what's valuable. Protection or of this female energy. Something of value being presented to this female energy. What is it? Six of Cups. Memories and nostalgia. That's kind of what I was expecting the whole way through this. This fresh start. New road to go down. New path taken. And then here are the Eight of Wands. This is fast, fast movement. This here is fast movement, fast communication. Lots of communication. It's in reverse, so it's stopping of communication then we have the chariot in reverse this is full steam ahead pedal to the metal go now it's in reverse so now we have two cards about staying still pretty much stillness what is valuable to him about the house well the biggest thing is memories what holds value i should have said uh re regarding the case Now we have this energy bringing something what's valuable is what he's got in his hand. He's bringing it to this female. What's valuable is something that this female saw in the house. This new path, carefree path, and they want to stop it. Okay, I get it. They want to stop, you know, pictures things people said, communication, the jury seeing the house, all of it, things being written about the house. This is putting an end to it. They want to stop it. Nobody, like this is people going into the house, checking it out, even like, uh, you know, maybe they like want to do stuff like ugly, like haunted type stuff over there. They want to put a stop to it. So the value is he's got a lot of memories, and he doesn't like all the attention and communication and things that are being said about, uh, about it. Hmm. All right. Next question is, did he, did he ever spy on the house? That's a good question. Let's use this deck. Did he ever spy on this house? Because, you know, we, he saw it. I'm sure you could see it from some part of his house. We know for sure, because I, I put that picture there, we know for sure that he saw that, that house every time he left his house and every time he got home, that's for sure. But before the murders, before the murders ever happened, how did you guys word this? Did he ever, did he ever spy on the house? Or actually,
What was he watching at uh, at 1122? Now, we should get memories. Like, he's looking at the house with nostalgia. When the president, before the murders, when the president would look at that house, what was he looking for? Like, did he use binocular? Like, was he looking at that house? What was... What was he doing with that house? The star. It had his attention. That's for sure. Oh, my God. Seven of Swords. Page of Cups. <gasps> Queen of Pentacles reversed. Five of Wands reversed. The bottom. King of Pentacles. So it's like the another couple. Look at it. King of Pentacles. Same. Both reversed again. What was he looking for at that house? What was he looking at? Well, the house had his attention. That's the star. Yeah, hope, renewal, all that stuff. But it's also directions. Like, see the stars? It's about having direction. Having the attention on you, like the star of the show. But, unfortunately, and we're talking before the murders, here comes our swindler our piece of shit friend that steals from you and lies to you. It does you dirty. He's a dirty doing swindler. Smiles in your face, stabs you in the back, then takes a knife out and steals it. So that's the focus. His focus was on something negative here, criminal behavior. Definitely criminal behavior. And that was his focus when he was watching, looking. Then get this, with the Page of Cups, this is um, an immature, playful way. It's an immature, playful type message, type communication. Playful, immature, naive. And it's not really a good thing. Like... Like we always say, you know, uh, here's a kid holding a, a fish in a cup. It seems like a really good idea when you're at the fair and, you know, somebody wants you to throw ping pong balls into a cup of a fish. But by the time you get back to your car and you got a bag with a fish in it, it's, you know, you're lucky if it's still alive. It's not really a good idea. Like it'll start, a fish starts to stink after three days just like company. So it's like a playful, like almost like he's disguising his intention with like a playful childlike vibe here. Then we have this female energy, the queen of pentacles next to this five of wands in reverse. This is a struggle, a fight, chaos, conflict in reverse. So it's like the, the, relieving of this conflict the ending the lightening of it maybe it's not as intense as it once was but this female is having some type of a struggle here there's a female energy having some type of struggle so and trying to get past it past her struggle she's in a uh, reverse position so she's losing something here whether it's something of value or just her nurturing, comforting way is being challenged by the stress and chaos. So he's he was watching them. And he was watching some, oh, here comes my husband. He'll come bashing through the door, but we'll keep going. He was watching something, some type of a crime. His attention was on it. But he hit it off, like, you know, some into some playfulness. His main focus, it seems like, was the star. This female and male learning something, staying in the chaos. He liked, there was chaos in that house. Hey, even a party could be considered chaos. So maybe he was looking for that reason. Who knows? That is a weird one. Um, three... Let's ask, when he looked at that house before the murders, 
What was he looking for? What was he watching for? Was there something specific he was looking for? Like, oh, did they change? Like for me, if I was going past, every time I go past my childhood home, I'm looking at, did they make any changes? You know, does it still look the same? Let's see what, what his uh, intention is. All right, when he was looking at that house, how did you all, you all worded this better? What was he looking for? What was he looking for when he watched that house? When he passed by, when he looked at that house, what exactly was he looking for? he looking for in that house when you when you watch the chariot he was looking at the cars in the parking lot or the you know what cars were there knight of cups two of swords reversed nine of cups reversed wow three of swords reversed what's at the bottom here justice now justice doesn't have to be like you know court of law justice it's just about being fair whatever he saw as being fair, almost like it's my house. I'll look if I want to, I'm not gonna feel bad about it. What was he looking for? Well, with the chariot, I think he was looking for, uh, he was looking at the cars that were there. Here he comes, sorry guys. He was looking at the cars that were there. He was looking at their Knight of Cups. He was looking at their romantic conquests. What guys were coming up here with their propositions of relationships, love, friendships, stuff like that. Then right in the middle here, two of swords in reverse. So it's a crossroads. It's something that he fought, like an internal fight of in himself. An internal, he's trying not to look. See, check it out. She's blindfolded here. She's looking up at the moon. Normally there's not a moon in here. So a moon represents like secrets and illusions. Huh. He couldn't help himself but to look. Now we have the nine of cups reversed. Look at this. This is your wish fulfillment, your dream come true, what you covet, what you want, greed. Now, when it's in reverse, you could think of it as, it could be read as um, wanting something that you can't have or being like overly greedy and possessive. And then we have the three of swords in reverse. So this is a heartbreak, a betrayal but to your feelings. So in reverse, it's kind of like a healing. It could also mean delays. What was he looking for? He was watching for the cars. He was watching for any romantical conquests that happened over there. He was fighting the urge, but couldn't fight it. He had to try it. He had to watch, you know? Hey, I'm not trying to paint this guy out to be a perv, like uh, full disclosure. My mom used to watch neighbors with binoculars from our couch. She'd like hide behind the couch and like peek over it. Not to like look at anything creepy. She was just being nosy and wanted to see what all the neighbors were doing. It was highly embarrassing. Okay. So he felt like he was fighting the urge, couldn't help it. He was coveting them. It was something that he would never have. And he was kind of getting over it or maybe even getting past something in his past, you know, like watching them made him feel better about himself. What do we get here? Yeah, like that would go with the justice in a way, like, or fair game. See, I'm not looking, but then here's the big old eye. He is looking and the devil trying to release himself from that house. He want the evil connected to that house, leaving chaos for calmness quickly. It's a conflict with the five of swords in reverse. This conflict was never resolved. It kept coming up, like picking a scab, picking a scab, picking a scab, and then the king of pentacles. 
which is how he's shown up to us so far. Although you think he'd be, he hasn't really, I guess, shown up obviously, but you'd think he'd be, he would show up as an emperor, whether he is the emperor or not, he would show up as an emperor because he's the boss. He rules the show there. All right. Busy spy in the house. All right, we're gonna leave these. All we got a ton of questions about law enforcement and prior crimes, but let's kind of go in uh, in order. Did he know the victims personally? Now I'm not saying. You know, a high and by, a meet and greet, smoking a cigar with a group in their part of the group. Did he know any of them socially? Did he have a personal relationship with any of the victims? Did HGIC have a personal relationship with any of these victims? Strength in reverse. Seven of Pentacles reversed. King of Wands reverse. Ace of Pentacles reverse. They're all in reverse. Eight of Wands reverse. And at the bottom are Knight of Swords. Okay. Well, right in the middle here is our King of Wands reversed. So Jesus of the Wands. Reverse. So he is, ugh. we're asking if he had any personal relationship. So if we look at this card, this could be like anger, frustration, also like aggressiveness, sexual stuff. So let's see here. We got strength in reverse next to the seven of pentacles in reverse. It wasn't worth it. It's not worth it. He didn't think they were worth it. And then what are these cards? Ace of Pentacles reversed. So like a big loss of an opportunity here. Not taking an opportunity. And then the Eight of Wands reversed. Remember, this is a whole lot of communication, fast action. It's in reverse. So I'm going to go with no. I think he knew them from afar. There might have been like quick, um, you know, like a high and by there, like here and there, a quick little thing said back and forth, but I'm getting no, he didn't know them. And then there's the death, like that ultimate ending. I'm going to say no, he did not know them. I don't think he like felt so great about them, but I don't think he personally knew them. 